Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around so little, and we keep track of time. Being so serious. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Yvonne, and this is Sticky Man Seventeen. My channel is all about cleaning, information, inspiration, and motivation. So if you're interested, please like and subscribe. Turn on those notification bells so that you're notified every Wednesday and Sunday at 10 a.m. Now, if you just have a quick look. it is a mess <laughs> so i've got some shopping to sort out so i need to get that done the dishwasher done and some other bits and bobs done so any products i use in my home is always linked on the website stickiness17.co.uk and when i get to 2,000 subscribers if i'm not there already i will be sharing my head and donating the proceeds of the video to the wales air ambulance and my head to the little princess trust if i am there already it will be coming up soon and i thank you so much for supporting me um but i'll probably wait until I don't know. End of I movie, never got it. What you had to go? I guess this world is too slow for you. I think there's beauty in the gray, the cold, but you just want to go. And there's no way I can beat it, cause I got no chance, no chance when it comes to her. So when I start in the kitchen, 99% of the time, I always start with the dishwasher because then I can move on to clearing the counters and the washing up bowl and things like that. And it gives me a blank canvas, I think anyway. That's why I start with the dishwasher. I just find it makes it easier. If you're hand washing dishes, clear your drying rack first. If you don't dry your dishes, <laughs> um, I'm too lazy to dry my dishes if I do hand wash them. So I just to clear that off first and then you've got more space to clear up and it just I find it goes a lot quicker. So you've just seen me scratching at my top and that is because I don't know where my mouth is and I dribble down my front. Um, so there is a mark down my front and I apologize, but I'm not getting changed because my videos are, as you see me, is what you get. So I'm dirty and I don't care my phone get. So I'm just, as I said, I've unpacked it now. I'm going to start loading it and this way I can start clearing the counters before I have to start And just like that, I have got another load ready to go. So at least my counters are pretty much clear now. Fill it with a tablet and then start the dishwasher off. And now I can move on to the next bit on my kitchen. Things like washing bottles and wiping the counters and things like that. Now, if you're going to wipe down your counters, make sure that you spray them so that they can sit. Because most sprays will take about five minutes to actually, actually activate. Oh my goodness. That's so, 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 so make sure that you spray it. And make, like at this point, I could spray my counters down if they were clear, but they're not. And then my time is done with You can wipe down your counters. Makes sense. Thank you. 
And now I start filling up the washing bowl again and just doing the dishes and making sure that my I'm clearing my counters as I'm going around. And you'll see that I always work from the left working around to the right when I wipe my counters down. I don't know why I do it, but it's a habit. And it just means that all my counters get wiped and nice and clean. Right now I'm filling up my scrub daddy scrub brush with some leftover dish soap and washing up liquid. I desperately need to put some more on my shopping list. But I absolutely love my scrub daddy brush. Um, the best thing to slice bread next to my e Definitely, because this one doesn't leak. And it works just as well as a scrub daddy with a scrub pad. But it's better. Just close your eyes and we'll be shooting stars. My bottles I use for coffee seem to be a never-ending cleaning thing. I start making them, I've started making them in bulk because I find the coffee actually tastes so much better when it's like being sat in the fridge for a day or two or even 24 hours. That is absolutely brilliant. So um, I need to wash my bottles so that I've got something for you, where I can put my coffee because, yeah, I'm making it all coffee. Only one a day, mind. So I'm drinking a lot less coffee than when I was actually drinking hot. But, oh, it's just so satisfying. Here's something I, my dad told me many, many years ago, didn't take much notice of it, but when you've got a bottle like this with a small opening, spin the water around inside and it comes out so much easier rather than waiting for it to tip out. First, you know, all problems, whatever, but tipping your water upside down but spinning it if it hasn't got like a wide opening like this bottle does makes the water come out that much quicker because the oxygen or the air can get into the bottle and force the water out. Or something like that, I don't know, but it works. Let me know it down in the comments. Do you wash your, once you've washed your dishes, do you rinse them out um, so that they're like nice and fresh or do you actually let the dishes dry with still washing up liquid on them? I don't know. I've always thought you've got to get rid of the bubbles. But there's difference of opinion. So let me know what your opinion is down in the comments box down below. So now we are full of cold in our house, so I'm going to use the Astonish Kitchen Cleaner just to give a little bit more of antibacterial cleaning in my kitchen and give my counters a bit of a wipe down. So I'm going to spray it down. I've got a few other errands to do, chores whilst it's just going to sit. But as you can see, my counters are absolutely disgusting. So I want to give it a good spray down um, and let it sit for a few minutes before I wipe it off. Thank you. 
Now, I don't wear makeup, as you know, um, and I can never get my foundation to match. So I thought I'd give this crowd, I've seen them on TikTok many times, I thought I'd give them a try. Um, I'm, I think it's called Immaquillage, I don't know, I apologize if I butchered the name, but I thought I'd give it a try. Um, and I will show you later on in the video what I think. So this is the packaging. I've got the concealer, I've got the foundation, and I got the brush free. But yeah, it basically says two pumps, leave it for five minutes, and then you can see your color match. I have got some sort of like a sheer coverage rather than a full coverage because I've got wrinkles on my forehead, forehead, forehead that um, seems to collect foundation, and I wanted something not as obvious as um, it all sitting in my creases. So I decided to do their questionnaire, and I will show you later what I found with the product um, so do be sure to check it out and as you can see the packaging is really cute and they will also do returns and exchanges for free so I'm really pleased with that because I'm no makeup connoisseur if that's a word and I thought I'd give it a shot Now I've been to Tesco and I need to put my shopping away. Um, I've got some tinned cat food and some a new bag of dry cat food. So I want to put the old tins up the front uh, and restock the tin cupboard. And then I'm going to change over the cat food. My cats, since I've been feeding them now once a day because I've weaned the baby, um, is it having two lots of wet food a day. He's now on one. They are eating so much dry food, which is lovely. Um, and because they actually started to eat the dry food again. So now that the counters have been sat for a few minutes and I've put all the cat food away, it is time to wipe it down. Don't forget to get into those corners, guys, of those counters because it does also collect dirt and dust and debris. And especially if you're preparing fruit and vegetables or food there in that area, it does, you know, run down the back. So make sure you clean them all up. And I'm just checking on the lens there to see that I have got everything. And that it is a big so I'm going to make my way around the kitchen and wipe down all the surfaces. The cloth I'm using in my kitchen is the e-cloth kitchen cloth. It's the green one and I am not sponsored by e-cloth just yet. I absolutely love my e-cloths if you're new here and I use them to clean my house. They predominantly use just water to clean but sometimes you can use chemicals. But when you wash them, make sure that you don't put fabric softener in when you wash them. So I wash them with my towels and they get um, cleaned, deep cleaned with vinegar as a softener. I definitely think the next time I'm cleaning the kitchen, I need to wipe down that, um, <laughs> yeah, the black thing on my drying rack because that is not looking too pretty. But I always wipe underneath it, but for some reason, I always forget to wipe there. But anyway, so in between, I'm washing up the cloth, as you've seen, the cloth, as you've seen. So I'm just wiping down, getting in those grooves and making sure it's nice and clean and sparkling and making sure also that I get all the product that was left on the counter when I stick Telling me you don't want any obligations and how you hate them. Just don't be You know you're killing me slowly No, maybe I'm your 
cares? Maybe I'm not. I think about it way too much, and every single thought is making me, making me. Give me something straight from your heart. All this insecurity is tearing me apart. You're making me sleepless. You're making me sleepless. Yeah. I'm not gonna play nice. I'll be the witch you tell your friends about. I'm the crazy ex girl you pretend you don't know. 'Cause you know I could ruin your life. Rumor has it you have someone new. She'll regret you like a bad tattoo. 'Cause you'll never change. You'll always stay the same. Go on and tell all your friends all about me. I don't give. Okay, first things first, I wanted to disclose here that my skin is not primed. It's got no moisturizer or anything like that. It's literally just before I go in for the shower and I've got a massive pimple on my neck. But I wanted to see what the color is and the coverage and all that. So as you can see now, it is sort of blended in. I've only used the brush, but you can see there's no lines on my jaw there. It's just, it looks flawless. It's slightly lighter than my skin tone, but I'm really impressed with it. So, and it's very, very light on the skin. It does not feel like you're wearing a face mask, which is what mine usually feels like. So now this is a couple of days later. I don't usually shop in Asda, but I had to go to Cardiff. So I decided to pop into Asda before I went into Costco. So come along with me and let's see how we get on. I'm just holding the um, camera so that you can see the different selection. Oh my goodness, I've never seen so many towels. This is what happens when you get into a big city, I think. Um, yeah, I've just got more of a selection of everything. I mean, it's just unreal. So I picked up those bed sheets because, as I've said in my previous video, I haven't got like a rotation of duvet covers. So I bought them. I needed to get some more Abbey Deck. And I found these little press on nails. I mean, they're diddy little press on nails that I thought I'd get my daughter for Christmas. So yes, as, as was filmed before Christmas, and I know this video is going up after before anybody and the keyboard warriors comes after me. Um, but as you can see, a bit of an idea on what the British prices are. Um, the children's Abbey Deck. My daughter's had this virtually since the day she was born, I think, or near as close as anything. And as they get older, this is up to the age of 12. So yeah, now I've got a camera on my mirror um, and I find I'm too short for it to be working. So I wanted to have another mirror so that I can keep an eye on my daughter in the car and make sure that she's safe. Then also I had a look at the cans and the cans were three for 20 pounds. You cannot knock that. So, and it's mix and match as well. So I decided to try the raspberry uh, Pepsi Max. Um, we got some Rubicon. I got my daughter some Asda Splash fruit shoot type effort things, whatever you want to call them. Um, some passion fruit and some mango Rubicon. And I'm just going to make my way around the store. I also found a lovely flask. And as you can see, all the donuts, the breads, and I need some fabric softener. It is actually cheaper in Asda, hence the reason I got it here instead of going down to Costco. But I am in the vicinity of Costco, so I will be going down after this. 
but I'm just gonna pick up what I need that it works out cheaper here than what it does at Costco and I don't well it's just, I sometimes get five liters I've just run out of antibacterial wipes in my bathroom so I need to get a pack of them and since I'm here I'm going to get some extra large bin liners too now have you ever thought that literally with um or should I say with bin bags uh refuse sacks whatever you want to call them you are throwing away your money you're literally buying a bag to throw your money away how weird is that so as you can see now my windscreen is very dirty from all the salt on the road and i've got my car holder there my mount there so my camera is in the mount and i am going to make my way down the car park to costco and i will show you around in costco if for those who haven't been around a uk costco this is the one in cardiff which is in leckworth and the first thing you do Evan, pretty much every costco i've been to is you find the big screen tvs right at the entrance now in the uk you have to be a member to be allowed into costco or you can accompany a member to come in there is a membership fee you buy everything in bulk and it does work out pretty expensive but in the long run it is a lot cheaper you can even get things like max and i was so tempted to go get some sushi but i really couldn't be bothered and as you can see the expiry date is beginning of december so yes this was filmed before christmas can you believe it but as i said in my previous video previously in the video i am pre-recorded so I'm just making my way around Costco. I'm going to pick up some of our favorite sandwiches. These are so nice in the air fryer for like eight minutes at about 150, 200 degrees. Um, a pack of spring water. I'm going to get some toilet rolls. As you can see, there's loads of toilet rolls here. I buy them in bulk. And then I'm going to move on and make my way down the aisles and pick up some other stuff that may not necessarily be necessary, but that I do need, especially tissues. And as you can hear, I am full of cold, so the tissues are definitely a necessity. So I got a few little tipples for Christmas, as you do. Got some coffee, emerge, water, tissues, uh, the uh, Copperberg beers, and some Galaxy Hot Chocolate. Well, that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn on those notification bells so that you're notified every Wednesday and Sunday at 10 a.m. when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next Life time. Goes up and bye. Goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around. So little, and we keep track of time Being so serious, idiots Thinking it will matter, keep me company downtown Before the clock runs out Sun is shining, but the